You can graduate with six degrees in two years if you follow your curiosities four months at a time. This is how I used relentless self-education to kill procrastination, ace university, and get the fuck out. Here's an empowering truth. You've been doing self-education all your life. I didn't realize this until my third year in university. While my peers were cramming the night before due dates, I had already finished my assignments weeks before. Unlike my peers, it was almost impossible for me to procrastinate. How? I leveraged how fucking boring school was to my advantage. By watching YouTube videos. Yeah, that's right. When my peers watched Nelk Boys, I sought out an entirely different interest. Who would have thought this would be the best thing I ever did for my life? You see, I had lost patience with waiting for professors to hand me a nice grade, universities to hand me a shiny degree, and job recruiters to accept me into their corporate cult, to tell me I was good enough and that I finally had permission to be happy. Nah, bruh, I ain't down for that. I became motivated to finish all my school assignments as soon as I fucking could so that I could get down to the real stuff of figuring out how to improve my miserable life as a university student and escape the copycat life path. My mental diet soon became a disgusting buffet of fitness, psychology, philosophy, and spirituality. Self-improvement was on my mind 24-7. I had no more patience. I wanted to fix my goddamn miserable life now. To support this obsession, I began to build systems into my life that could sustain higher levels of energy and productivity. The system was very simple. Sleep at 9pm. Wake up at 5am. Hit the gym at 6am. These would soon become my non-negotiables. The foundation of these daily actions automatically created less resistance towards consistent productivity. Now I could kill my school tasks even faster. Once I fucking butchered my school tasks, I could then dedicate myself entirely to what I deeply wanted, to figure out how to escape my deep unhappiness. University is a four-year existential buffer institution. 95% of kids have no clue what they actually want. I was part of that camp. When you don't know what you want, the default solution is to try to fit in. What other choice do you have? This way, we can all pretend like we're not secretly existentially lost. The process of self-education itself provided me a great relief from this existential burden. For the first time, I got a taste of what it felt like to operate life under a positive cycle of momentum. I could get constant dopamine hits just from learning how to create a happier life. Let me lean into it more. All my life, I had exerted forceful effort towards goals that were shoved down my throat. It was a constant battle uphill. You should want X, then you can get Y, and finally you feel Z, I was told. Bullshit. No, I don't. For the first time, I found the courage to speak my truth and honor it. The slope got steeper. When it did, my life began to feel effortless and light. Because now... I was cycling downhill. Great, but how does self-education look in action? Let me show you. I felt constantly anxious and pathetic as a teen. Logically, I had to ask myself, how do I stop feeling pathetic and attract girls as fast as possible? The answer was, get jacked and tan, of course. This was my teenager brain working, but already the beginning of self-education. Guess what the next question was? How do I get jacked and tan as fast as possible? The answer? Lift. Question. How do I lift? Answer. Watch YouTube videos and go to the gym. Shout out Athlean X. Question. How do I recover as fast as possible after I lift? Answer. Sleep. Question. How do I prevent getting stuck in the 9 to 5? Answer, 
sleep at nine and wake at five each day so I can figure it out. Do you see how a simple sequence of self-inquiry started the whole self-education process, which led to the creation of a simple system for sleeping and lifting, which led to the deeper questions of, how do I escape the nine to five life? And how do I build a deeply fulfilling one in place of it? A succession of self-inquisitive questions later. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. A succession of self-inquisitive questions later. My 9 to 5 solution was born. Are you starting to see how self-education is the answer to everything you want out of life? And how simple it is? Summary. I was miserable in my life. School bored me to death. I killed this boredom by finishing assignments as fast as possible. With that extra time, I had space to become familiar with my misery and develop self-awareness. To create more energy and time for myself, I created a 9 to 5 prevention routine, which ironically was sleeping 9 to 5. I unknowingly created a positive cycle that became self-motivating and self-sustaining. I experienced effortless living for the first time. I now knew I could achieve my goals effortlessly because my being had become fully aligned to them. The lesson isn't that there's a specific sequence of things you need to self-educate on in order. It's that you need to find your biggest pain point in life and leverage that pain by turning it into a path. Self-education is merely the process of taking responsibility for solving every problem in your life. Here's the mini bonuses. You pay zero to $2,000, whereas university is $40,000. You don't have to endure a lousy ceremony. You study whatever you want. You become what you want and live how you want. And what's the big reward? You become the architect of an entirely custom designed life. When you look at a beautifully designed and crafted piece of architecture, don't you just marvel at it in amazement? But you can do that for your very life. And the custom architectural home will only be an end byproduct of designing a life that's authentically yours. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Hit the subscribe to the channel. It really helps me a lot. I'm glad to have you here. It was nice taking you along this mini adventure, my friend. Till next time. Peace out. She, she, that's fucking, that's fucking you.